I'm working on a project that's going across um, Elf and Bart, um, so the CCG are leading on it, um, but the idea is doing some joint collaboration working between um, discharge, so discharge from hospital into community services. Um, it's obviously not running quite as fast as a normal Elf QI project just because we've got working across both services, um, so it takes a bit longer to get people together, it takes a little bit longer for things to start moving, um, so we've had about four meetings now. I think one of the biggest achievements is getting people in the room. Um, so getting people from BART and people from ELF in a room talking together um, and building that relationship so that it, communication becomes more effective across both channels. Um, I think learning-wise, it's very much about keeping the team focused on the point, um, making sure that we're addressing what we need to address in the meetings and take anything else that needs to be addressed outside the meeting, offline and elsewhere. Um, so it's making sure we're focusing on what the aim of the QI project is. I became quite interested in um, how the QI process works because um, having not known anything about it previously, um, they were the kind of questions I was asking. I got invited to the QI forum um, and I got invited to sit on a different QI project around um, proms and prems. And then from that, um, I was asked if I wanted to do the QI training. Um, so obviously I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> uh, just to understand more about how it works and how it operates within the trust itself. And I think. Um, seeing how it works from ground level, so staff implementing the change and coming up with the ideas, I think it's been really interesting and eye-opening to see how it works. I think it's really good to get involved because actually it gives you a better understanding of how things operate. I know just talk about you know learning about run charts and control charts might not be the most exciting subject matter, but actually because we see these things day to day, actually understanding how to read them and how they um, are put together, I think is a really important aspect of knowing how your trust is operating as a whole. So we are. Um, running a survey um, for staff and patients to try and um, measure their um, experience as a kind of a baseline. Um, and so we're in the process of doing that. And then um, the next thing is to start to think about some change ideas. So like I say, we are slow, slowly burning, um, but I think in the long run, hopefully we'll see some good results.